Joining us on the phone is Anna Scanlon. She's the one that is suing Charles Marlowe, AKA the quote unquote vegan cheetah. And we're gonna get her side of things and let her kind of flesh out a little bit for you guys. Uh, it's better, a lot better than going and reading up on it online somewhere. So basically it started off in the summer of 2016 when um, <clears throat> Vegan Cheeto started to kind of gain notoriety, criticizing Union Freely and Durian Ryder, which I thought was really good at the time because I think he had some really good points to say about veganism and stuff like that. And that's kind of how he gained an audience. And when he ran out of ideas to talk about, he started to kind of just talk about people in general. And he he made up a whole story about someone exposing their genitals, which obviously you can see there's a theme here. Um, he made up a story about somebody else doing that. Um, he started to, you know, attack different people calling, you know, Jen Journey's death drama, um, started to attack a friend of mine who was in a very vulnerable position. And I wasn't necessarily, I did make a video in support of that friend, but I wasn't necessarily, you know, going around talking badly about him because he wasn't necessarily affecting my life. Um, I just had said casually in a Facebook group that I felt that what he was doing is a bit trashy. And so he found out about this and got um, very vengeful. He was very upset that I said this. And he then made a video that has been taken off the internet that I still have where he um, basically called myself and several other people like psychopaths and like, you know, he has proof of it, which is like me saying that um, I found his behavior to be, you know, a bit tacky and trashy so he made this video and he showed pictures of people that weren't that hadn't consented to be in the video so several people had a privacy complaint at this video he then decided to tell people that the reason that i had privacy complaints in the video was not because of him revealing people's identities but because we had had some imaginary relationship and i had sexually harassed him over skype and the uh, the claims seem to, to change, they shift all the time, but, you know, I was sexually harassed him on Skype, and then I was, like, trying to set him up to take screenshots of his penis, I don't know, it's just, like, doesn't even make any sense, but people um, actually believed this, and I was unable to go live, I was doing you now streams and stuff like that, because at the time I was doing YouTube, and I was really unable to go live anymore. I was unable to even like have a YouTube channel anymore because people would come in and be like, oh, you're the girl that flashed your badge on Skype or like, you know, whatever. So I kind of just like retreated and decided I didn't want to be online or associated with the vegan movement anymore online because this is what I was attracting. And uh, so I decided I was just going to let it go because I had looked into how to stop him from doing this and there's really like no way to stop someone from doing stuff like this because he's not directly threatening to rape or like kill me or anything so i talked to you know cyber security i talked to the police i talked to his uh probation officer there's nothing that anyone could do they said uh, you know all you could do is sue him for libel and slander and when i talked to someone i found out it was like really really expensive to do which i you know had an idea that it would be expensive, but I didn't realize how expensive it would be. So I was like, well, if it was going to be that expensive. Maybe it'll just die down and it'll, you know, go away. Right. So, um, kind of just like laid low for a while. And then a few months later, he then was talking about me again for some reason, even though I hadn't had any contact with him. And we've never, like, I just want to make this clear as well that he and I have never had any private contact apart from me messaging him one time about Freely and Durian Writer. But he okay. didn't write back to me. Like, we've never had any private contact. So he has this, like, whole fantasy that we had some kind of private relationship or something. But then he started mentioning me again and saying, like, yeah, she just flashed her badge on Skype and blah, 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 blah. And I Googled myself. I Googled Anna Scanlon plus vegan. And, like, the second or third search was Anna Scanlon abuse of offering sex. Now, that search term is not there anymore because I talked to the person who uh, had made the video. I get a lot of critics saying, oh, you planted that there, like, whatever. Like, no, I didn't plant it there. It was a 
it, uh, it was there, but I talked to the person, and the person was kind enough to remove it, but I thought, if I'm getting these kind of search terms, this is kind of, a, you know, a problem, and I was thinking about it, and I'm just like, you know, if someone writes something like this in a newspaper, or, you know, says something like that on TV without any substantial proof, you know, there'd be consequences, but there's no consequences on the internet, so it's like, there has, something has to be done about this, because he was lying about other things that people were doing and I've been made aware since then that there are other people that have lied about things that other people are doing and there's just no consequences and you have to just live with it you know for the rest of your life right so he's definitely not the only person in the whole world that has ever done this but it's really unfair and the only thing that you can do is, is sue so I decided that I was going to sue him and I put up uh because I don't have $25,000 or however I think I, I spent probably $25,000 so far with uh, collecting all the money and everything. I just didn't, you know, I, I don't have a job that pays me an extra $25,000, so I did a GoFundMe, and I was able to raise the money. And, of course, he continues to slander and defame me as recently as yesterday, and he just doesn't he doesn't quit. This has been a pattern that he's followed for quite some time, so look, this didn't surprise me. I usually avoid all the drama and stuff on YouTube, but this is in the mainstream yeah. news now. Like, the yeah. BBC reported on it, so... Well, I think it's beyond drama. It's also suing someone for calling him a pedophile and, you know, things like that, and you just can't say stuff like that unless, you know, he's a convicted pedophile. You can't just come out and say, you know, something like that about someone. So, right. it's... You know, it's bigger than just me. Right, absolutely. Uh, this this is something that's been a problem for some time, and the only way to correct the issue with the modern technology and the way things are now is to get the precedent set with court cases. Exactly, and the internet is right now is like the wild, wild west. There's no, you know, and it's international, and everyone's confused, and they have these old laws on the books, and it's just, you know, something has to be done. So I stopped doing YouTube for a long time, but I came back because I decided that it's unfair for someone to throw me off of something that I really like doing and he's going to continue to talk about me no matter what because I'm suing him and he thinks suing him is harassment. He, he'll continue to talk about me. His fans will continue to talk about how I'm fat and ugly and Jewish and a bitch and everything, so I might as well just go ahead and do something that I like to do. So I'm still up on Anna in Wonderland um, just uploading. I don't have like a schedule or anything, but I'm just there uh, every now and then and I do a blog post at least once a week about fashion and ethical makeup and ethical handbags and things like that. Awesome. Sounds great. Yeah, you can't... Uh, trolls are going to be there. Uh, we, anybody who's done any kind of social media content ha ha is constantly dealing with some of the worst things ever. Like the, yeah. the, the trolls are a constant problem and you get used to it, sadly. Uh, it just becomes part of it. <laughs> it's crazy, though, because, like, you think about, like, because I said something one day, I was like, I feel bad for the Kardashians in a way, and they're like, oh, how could you feel bad for them? But, I mean, like, 20 years ago, you know, someone's like, oh, Kim Kardashian's a slut or whatever. You just say it to your friend, and she doesn't necessarily have to read it. And then now it's like people are like, at Kim Kardashian, you're a slut, you know? So it's right. just really... All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me, and let me know where where this is going to go up when it's up. Hopefully the case works out to where some sort of new precedent is set. At the very least, doing the, the suing is creating at least a little bit of, of fear for people who might go and do this, even if it doesn't work this time around. I hope so. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Right. Yeah, no problem. All right, bye. So we did reach out to Charles Marlowe, a.k.a. formerly the Vegan Cheetah, and we did so on multiple platforms because he wasn't answering back and on Twitter he blocked us and on Instagram he did answer back with this and unfortunately he doesn't want to have a real conversation uh, about any of the stuff he's doing which is typical of what he's done in the past his trolling and his drama is just to get views and keep earning money I wish Anna the best of luck in this lawsuit I hate that this got held up so long I was actually very ill uh, spent a bunch of time in the hospital all that kind of junk but None of that matters right now. It's going to be really interesting to see how her lawsuit goes. Um, I, I hope that it goes in a positive direction and can set a precedent that you can't just slander people like this online uh, if that is what they, what they find to be true in the case. We need more... Free speech is an important thing, obviously. Uh, I live by it. It's important. Uh, but 
you need to be honest in the way you're representing things and what you're saying about people because you can hurt their lives, you can hurt their business, you can hurt them. And I think that's the big takeaway here in the end of everything. Sorry that Charles didn't join us for the interview. Uh, I wish he would have, but what are you going to do? You can't force people to give their side of things, but I think we all have a pretty good grasp of what's going on at this point. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hey, Bubba. Love you guys. See you in the next video.